That doesn't sound a peso. Does it look like a peso to you? <laughs> I don't know what peso looks like. Well, I'm pretty sure Queen, Eli- Queen, Queen Elizabeth is on that. We are Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> that Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> Alrighty. Damn beaver. <laughs> hey guys, this is Pelican. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was fine. I knew it thinking about Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Pelican Gaming. I'm Pelican, and uh, I'm Penguin. And uh, today we're gonna talk about the uh, new South Park game, the fractured butthole. Like butthole? I knew you'd say that, but uh, no, it's like when you, you think butthole, but it's actually two words. You know, like oh, but- butthole. Yeah, the word. Oh, but- fracture. Okay, I'm yeah, I'm catching on. Yeah, you you'll get it. I'll, I'll explain. Well, it. as much as I've been looking at this, I should have picked up. I just threw me off for a minute, but I yeah. got you. Um. Uh, okay, so well, do you know? Do you know how the storyline works? No, I do not actually. I know a little bits and pieces of it, but well, basically, in the trailer, it starts off and they're all in Cartman's basement, and they're all sitting at a table, and Cartman or the coon, the coon, he's a uh, he's talking about how he wants to make or he says they, but he he know he's gonna keep it to himself. He's no. Cartman. But they want to make a billion dollars off a superhero movie franchise, and he wants to make his own movie. I mean, he's going to include their movies, but it's mainly all him. And he's trying to be greedy, and they basically they split up, and it turns into a civil war. And uh, I slowed down the video, and you can tell, and um, it's basically Cartman, Craig, Kyle, and Jimmy versus Stan, Tweet, Kenny, and Token. Oh, so Kyle's on Cartman's team? I know, I was shocked, but he didn't go with Stan, because Stan had Kenny, so I guess, you know... trying to make it... I got you. Yeah. That's interesting. I didn't notice that when I saw the Kenny and Stan branching yeah. out there. I just assumed Kyle was with them. But, oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's, um, that's all I know for sure about the uh, Civil War, you know, storyline. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, I didn't know about all that, but what I do know is that the character you're playing as is the same, you're the new kid, you're still that new kid you were in the Stick of Truth. You're mm. kind of, because at the end of that game, I mean, spoiler alert, go play the game and then come back if you don't want this spoiled for you. Great game, but um, you're kind of like, you can become the king because it's like Skyrim based, yeah, so you become yeah. the king, but then... Um, but then you kind of wake up the next day and you go to play with your friends again outside and they have kind of given up on that game. They moved on to superheroes. Yeah. So you walk in with your old king outfit all happy and you've kind of been uh, deranked back to quote unquote douchebag. Yeah. <laughs> you're kind they, of back to square one again. And I think of, they uh, they call you like a civilian because you're not a superhero yet. Oh, they, really? Yeah, they did that. Cartman wanted a... Uh, called you a civilian and he wanted you out of his basement but um huh. yeah uh but Very like you were saying uh with uh skyrim i like skyrim was good i i liked it but superheroes is way better like i mean you know superheroes is gonna be good oh yeah absolutely and um yeah and uh like you were saying though um how they uh demoted him back to um douchebag you know how because in the game you rank up all the way to king douchebag yeah (laughs) but uh yeah Mm -hmm. absolutely well the uh i guess with the talking about mentioning the stick of truth though we uh you do get that with yeah you do right yeah pre-order you get stick of truth for free i guess they did that because they had it uh free if you had xbox uh gold so they decided to throw it in there. Yeah. And what's interesting for all you guys out here that might not have played the Stick of Truth yet, if you pre-order it right now, you actually they'll go ahead and give you the Stick of Truth early so that you can go ahead and play it through and kind of get caught up on the story and everything, which I thought was great because I know uh, I loved Fallout. I'm not trying to bash them at all, but they when you bought Fallout 4, you got Fallout 3 as well. But it was kind of hard to sit there and go back and play the old game as great as it was when you yeah. had the new one sitting right in front of you. So 
it, it gives you um, it's a little bit more friendly to the user to someone that hasn't been quite caught up with the story and what's going on I, um, did you have anything else with the, the stick of truth I got a couple fun facts here that the viewers might enjoy um no that's about all I know I mean I love the game but I I coon and friends, you know. What's it's, very, it's very exciting, yeah. The um, one fun thing, though, about the Stick of Truth was that the with well, the Matt and Trey, the creators of South Park, they actually mm -hmm. they are forced to make a map for the first time when they actually because they, they've been doing it for 15 years, the show, and they're finally forced to sit down and be like, okay. Well, when they're going from Cartman to Kyle's house, where is Kyle's house? What does that mean? Because they, before, they just kind of had each house in separate frames, and they actually had to piece it together for the first time, which actually helped develop the show some, too. Wait, so they didn't actually have, like, they didn't know where everything, like, they didn't know how to get to Stan's house to Kyle's house? Like, no, 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 no. So they, they just had the locations, like, they never actually built, like, a... A map? No, because when Ubisoft sent them down, I was like, oh, great, so we're trying to do the framework, sending them from one place to the other, and they're like, oh, we don't know how to do that yet, which was odd because they've been doing it for 15 plus years. But anyway, it's uh, it's going to be, a, it's, it's, it was a good game for sure, and I know this is going to be as well. But um, just how are you saying the game was uh, going to be good? I don't really know much about player customizations. I mean, do you have anything on that? Because... I actually did look into that quite a bit, and what I have as of now is that, of course, you're going to choose a superhero early on, and you are going to, from what we saw just from the demo, there's three different ones. There's the Brutalist, which is kind of like a Hulk, a Blaster, which is kind of like uh, Cyclops from X-Men, for all you X-Men fans out there, and then there's Speedster, which kind of acts as Flash. There appears to be a lot more that you can maybe unlock. It might be unlockable, or maybe they just didn't want to show that much with the demo. But otherwise, it looks like customization is going to be even higher than before, especially with your abilities, which I think is going to be really cool. So you're, so that's basically like, um, you know, the how in Stick of Truth you had the warrior, the thief, the mage, and the Jew. Exactly, and now also with the choosing your customization with all these new abilities they're giving you, they're also giving you a better battleground. You're going to be able to move around instead of just being in one spot. Before you attack, you got this area you can utilize now, and you can move around within that area to maybe get behind some cover before the attack, or position yourself so you and your teammate can kind of do a double attack. But your enemies can utilize that as well, so you have to be careful. So they're focusing a little bit more on combat on top of the uh, on top of the good storyline that they always present. So it's gonna be it's gonna be good. So with uh, combat, do you do? Is it just like you know, one person goes and one person goes and? Yeah. Like, so they're still gonna follow that. They uh, that was something they did in the Stick of Truth, and it's still gonna be ba a back and forth kind of battle, not an all at once type thing like you might see in in Batman Arkham City or something. It's still gonna be taking turns, but you got a little battleground to kind of utilize now. All right, all right. And uh, weapons. You know how Stick of Truth. You bought weapons. You used them. Do yeah. you have superpowers in this, or is it weapons? It, it seems to be focused on superpowers. I'm not quite sure about all that. I, I couldn't really tell from the videos if there was any weapons involved. It seemed to be very superpower oriented, though. I'm not sure how they're gonna do that with the whole purchasing and acquiring new things. But, uh, and so, I mean, do you just have to have an Xbox to play this, or do you have PS4? Like oh, you can have anything, really. They are exclusive to the new generation, so 360s and PS3 seem to be excluded from this, unfortunately, but, of course, whether you're PlayStation or Xbox, you're going to be able to have this as well as, uh, PC. Same, okay, PC, yeah. yeah. Um... Another thing that was my favorite, I mean, if you watch the trailer to the end, you saw this, but at the end, if you pre-order, a little bubble pops up, guess what? Hmm. You get Tally. Tally! Yep. <laughs> you wanna get high? <laughs> that was a really bad impression, but... That was a bad impression. But, yeah, you get him, you get him <laughs> for free, pre and it said he's a game bud, so I don't, know if, I don't know if he's a little figure, I don't know if he walks around with you in the game, or... I don't know. That could be good or bad. I don't know. Hmm. But I doubt it's going to be bad. Yeah, I'm sure it's going to be great regardless. And I did notice you get these little collectible figures, whether it's the Coon or something. They're not sure if it's going to be included with the pre-order or if it's going to be sold separately. But there's little like figurines that are three to six inches high. And 
Um, I didn't see Tally in there, so maybe his thing might be an in-game thing mm -hmm. instead of a figure. Maybe it will be a figurine, but um, regardless, like you said, it's going to be awesome because he didn't really make an appearance in the Stick of Truth, so this will be good. And uh, another thing that was probably my favorite was in Stick of Truth, It was they had some, you know, rather than like Season 16, they had some of those jokes, but it was ba mainly based around Season 1 through 6, but with the, uh, the Fractured But Whole, uh, guess what they had? What? Cartman had a uh, secret uh, weapon, you know what that, uh, what that was? Like a weapon? Like a gun? Some kind of gun? Nope, it was PC Principal. PC Principal! Yep. Wow, that is that is awesome. So they're bringing in some some of the newest season stuff in there too. That's great. I love that season. I'm glad to see that. That's probably gonna, gonna awesome. have more uh, Mr. Garrison too. So that's that, pretty that's good. That's good. <laughs> Mr. Garrison's one of my favorites, and he definitely wasn't he wasn't in there as much as I'd like in the Stick of Truth. So that's good to see that they might be bringing some of those people in there. Anyway, um, well, uh, that basically wraps up the. Uh, preview on uh, the fractured butthole and um, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more weekly content and uh, make sure to visit the channel to see gameplay walkthrough challenges and you know way more oh, we, we do a lot of stuff and, and, well and subscribe subscribe yeah. while you're there just go ahead click the button do it do it <laughs> <laughs> all right see you guys later